Here we have a collection of the most popular utility knives out there. And what we're gonna do in this video is check out the features, price, the feel of every one of these knives, the carryability, and more. First off, the generic Stanley blade. The Stanley comes in at $5. Plastic and cast metal construction. Changing the blade requires a screwdriver and unscrewing this. Plastic carriage. The slit on this is large enough to be used with a coin. Next, we have the Home Depot Husky. The Husky comes in at $9. This is a standard flip knife with cast iron body, sheet metal belt clip, single hand opening action, rear rocker closer, which is more difficult to use, quick change blade. Next, we have the Stanley 10499, comes in at $10. This is an all cast metal build with a quick change blade four blade positions, and space for an additional 10 blades. Next, we have the DeWalt retractable blade. The DeWalt comes in at $14. Quick change blade with this. Additional space for four blades, four blade positions. Next, we have the Irwin. The Irwin comes in at $14. Cast iron blade housing, sheet metal clip, sheet metal catch, plastic handle, and storage for an additional two blades. Button for quick change blades. Next is a generic Urea brand, cast metal build with sheet metal build. The Urea comes in at $15. Quick change blade, this. Rocker catch system, compartment for four bits and a bit holder at the bottom. Next is the Milwaukee 4822 The Milwaukee comes in at $15. Wire metal belt clip, plastic handle, sheet metal construction, cast iron blade housing. Quick change blade. Screwdriver, both Phillips and flathead. Additional blade storage in the handle. Popular fastback button open and close. Bottle opener. Next is a Klein Tools. The Klein comes in at $20. Mostly cast iron metal build. Cast iron blade holder. Quick action change. Rubber inserts and handles. Button open and close system. Sheet metal belt clip. Next is the Fiskars Pro. The Fisker Pro comes in at $27. With a plastic body with rubber handle. Button open and close. Cast iron and sheet metal housing for blade. Quick change blade. Sheet metal belt clip. Metal lanyard hole. No additional storage. Finally, the most expensive and most unique is the tough build. The tough build comes in at $30. Paint can opener. Metal body with rubber handles and plastic accents. Push button retractable blade. Additional scraper function. For the past month, I've carried around each one of these blades for at least three days. And now I'm gonna give you my thoughts on how they feel. Starting off with the least expensive Stanley, it's surprisingly good for $5, it's not bad. It does feel cheap and it's very difficult to change out that blade, something you throw into a toolbox and just have it just in case. Next, we have the Husky folding knife. The Husky folding knife is hard to open and hard to close. You typically need two hands to close it, although it does feel sturdy and solid. After just a few days of carrying it around, the clip on the back became loose, and overall, the ergonomics are just not great. It fits well in the pocket, but is a little too loose for my preference. The blade changing system is w unique and interesting, but it gets weird after a while. It's just not the best. The Stanley 10499 is surprisingly good, with additional storage for 10 additional blades and a sleek metal body. It goes into the pocket easily. The feel of the carriage is nice and smooth and changing the blade is an easy process. This is certainly one of the blades that surprised me the most. Next is the DeWalt utility knife. It feels a lot smoother than the Stanley, but for some reason, it's not as responsive and not as comfortable to open and close the blade. On top of that, it's a thicker, bigger body, which is harder to carry around and heavier. The additional storage is just not as easy to use and is a bit unusual. After a couple of days of using, the clip on the back of the DeWalt is crooked and doesn't seem to work very well. The quick change feature on this is definitely one of the strengths of this blade. It's one of the best feeling and the most consistent in smoothness. Next is the Irwin. The Irwin is a very solid feeling knife and is comfortable to use and can be used with a single hand to open and close. The two additional blades which are stored in the back is nice. And overall, this is a nice, very sturdy feeling blade. And then we have Urea, which honestly feels pretty crappy. It is somewhat of a generic brand. So I wasn't expecting much from it anyway, but it's way too thick. It's just not comfortable in the hand. Maybe for some people that's what they want, but it's certainly not comfortable. 
and it's just not ergonomic and it's not really that useful having the screwdriver back here well it rarely seemed to be useful wherever i needed it this was just not comfortable to use it, it was better for me to go grab a screwdriver and just do it with an actual screwdriver or this did not fit in the area where i wanted to do what i wanted to do overall it just doesn't feel good it feels crappy it's hard to open the screwdriver compartment this is plastic and you know just it looks like cheap plastic i would expect that to break and overall it's it's kind of too hard to open and too hard to close it's it it certainly makes it feel sturdy but it's a little too much next we have the milwaukee the milwaukee actually feels really great it opens and closes extremely comfortable the most comfortable of all of them and then there's the screwdriver the screwdriver feels awesome it's centered so you could easily use this as an actual screwdriver and it's a screwdriver that's actually comfortable to use it feels extremely smooth and comfortable and it's just overall really nice the wire clip is very stiff and very sturdy and it has this little hump here that hump on this wire clip makes it so that it bites onto your pants or whatever you're clipping it onto and it does not move this bottle opener is surprisingly useful for many other things other than just opening bottles it has these two hooks on the end which i've often used to grab onto things and pry on them next is the client tools very similar to the milwaukee although it is a smaller lighter feeling tool the the Flip action doesn't feel as refined as the Milwaukee, but it's certainly good. And the grip is just not as good as with the Milwaukee, although it is good. And I do feel that because the weight is further forward, I can easily use this blade for more precise things. So the client tools feels pretty good, but the belt clip is terrible. It doesn't hold on at all. It's just not stiff enough and it just slides around anything or anywhere you put it. Next, we have the Fisker Pro. This is a beautiful blade. It looks good, it feels good, it's sturdy, and it's expensive. And with that come very high expectations, expectations that this did not meet. The button is about the same size as the one on the Klein Tools, but it's smaller than the one on the Milwaukee. But the problem here is that the button is very stiff, meaning that it kind of hurts when you try to open it and you really got to press it hard for it to work opening the blade is extremely smooth and sturdy and it just has this nice thump to it this nice feel out of all the blades it's certainly the best feeling as far as opening and closing but that button really hurts this blade changing the blade is quite simple you just push this button in and pull this out and then the blade can be changed and then you just push this back in to lock it and the clip is absolutely terrible. This is by far the worst clip in my opinion. It's inset into the plastic, which you would think is a nice feature. They're putting the extra effort in, but that makes it extremely difficult to get it to catch onto anything. And finally, we have the Tough Built, the most unique of all of them, but honestly, it's not a great feeling blade. It's pretty big and sturdy, which is nice, but you get a very small contact patch. You can see the blade goes all the way back here, but if you try to cut anything deeper than a millimeter, you come into contact with this metal body here. So really all you have is this point over here. Now it has the benefit where you can turn it into a scraper and now you have the entire length. But this is honestly not very useful. And I actually carried this for longer than the three days to make sure that it was good and its angle of attack was just not very good. It's, it's too much of an angle to get it to work. It just doesn't work well. And having such a small contact area is a problem. The retraction mechanism works really well and feels great. It has this spring, which returns the blade, but not all the way. I don't understand why. You can see the tip is still sticking out there. If I pull it out and let it go, it, it, it has a spring, but it doesn't spring it all the way back into place. Why? I don't know. I think they should have made it a little stronger so that when you press the button and let it go, it would close all the way. Overall, it feels good, but it has its drawbacks. Now, carryability is extremely important. I get up in the morning, I put this in my pocket, and it comes with me everywhere I go. So making it easy to carry is very important. Starting off with the Simple Stanley, it's actually very nice to carry. It's lightweight, you barely feel it in your pocket, and it goes in and out of your pocket smoothly. The Husky was a little bit less carryable for me, especially because of that weak clip, which came loose after a couple of days. Putting it on a belt is quite easy and a good option, and is certainly better than putting it in your pocket. Stanley 10499, which was surprisingly good, also very comfortable in the pocket, and just overall easy to carry. 
just like the cheaper Stanley the DeWalt. Putting it into your pocket is less comfortable than the others, like the Stanley, because it has this curve, which makes it take up more space, move around more, and the rubber makes it a little bit harder to pull in and out of your pocket. Irwin, very sturdy feeling knife, it fits in the pocket well, although this clip does not hold on well. Again, moves around back and forth, hits against something that you might have in your pocket. Putting the Irwin onto a belt is easy and comfortable. The Arrea is extremely thick and uncomfortable to carry around. It bulges out of your pocket and it's just not a comfortable fit. And this clip also doesn't bite on well. The Arrea is a little bit harder to get onto your belt, but it certainly goes on and it grabs on well to your belt. In Milwaukee, it grabs on extremely well to any kind of cloth because of that little hump it has right there grabs onto your pants and doesn't move back and forth. That means it hits a lot less with anything you might have in your pocket. The Milwaukee is harder to get onto your belt, but it grabs on it very well. This is definitely more suited to hook onto cloth or your pants. Klein Tools, which is a bit of a smaller tool, fits well into the pocket, but does move around. Also fits onto a belt a lot easier. This is definitely one that goes better on a belt than in your pocket. Fisker Pro. This one is the worst to carry around. All the rubber handle on this causes a ton of friction on your pocket and makes it extremely difficult to take in and out. Not only that, but the clip is recessed. This recessed clip makes it impossible to get anything to clip onto there that's thicker than a piece of paper. In order to get this to clip onto pants, it's extremely difficult. And never mind trying to put it on a belt, which is even thicker. You're really never gonna get it on there. If you do end up wanting to get one of these, you could probably bend that out a little bit more and get some more usability out of it. Finally, we have the Tough Built. This one also has a ton of rubber all the way across the body, which makes it difficult to pull in and out of your pocket. It's also very large and just not comfortable to carry around in your pocket. Okay, so here are the results. At the top, we have first place, second place, and last place. Now, a very surprising result is that the two most expensive blades are in last place. And as far as all the rest go, they just don't stack up to the competition as far as price and functionality. Stanley 10499 was the most surprising option. It's very inexpensive. It has a lot of features. It's very well built and it just works well. Irwin has started to build a reputation for itself of making inexpensive but high quality tools. This is no exception. It feels solid and sturdy and it's just a good blade. The Milwaukee stands out with extra features including a very well-made screwdriver which is very useful, bottle opener, and other extra features including an extra blade and this very nice flip action that just feels very refined and very good. Overall, it's a great feeling knife and my favorite of all of these. Personally, I think it's worth investing a little bit more for a great blade. However, the 10499 has earned a permanent space in my toolbox and is certainly a great tool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And that's it for this video.